Hello everyone, uh, my name is Christian and in this video we're going to learn about narrative text. Uh, if you still remember, uh, narrative text is one of the material uh, generally studied by high school students. Uh, by the way, uh, in addition to being a study material, this text is also uh, present as a question in various tests. Uh, start from uh, school uh, exam or even national exam so without any further ado let's get into the explanation or the discussion first uh what is narrative text so this is a type of text that tells a ser series of or a series of events in a chronological or interconnected system. Narrative text is generally imaginative, aka not real, or the form of the imagination of this author. Because this is composed or fictional, the main purpose of narrative text is certain entertain to the readers or listeners of the story. Next. The generic structure of narrative text. First, we get uh, orientation. So, orientation in Indonesian meanings, uh, it means uh, introduction. So, in the initial paragraph, narrative text usually contains the introduction of the characters and setting settings involved in this content of the story. In this case. The setting can be this the scene as well uh, as the time of the story. In addition, uh, orientation contains the place of occurrence and the time of the story. Number two, complication. So complication is uh, uh, this section uh, will will begin to enter the paragraph that tells about the beginning of the problem. Of an or of an event or incident, because this is chronological in nature, the problem that arises at the beginning will continue to be uh, some kind of series of long storylines that contains conflict, climax, and anticlimax. Number three is resolution. So resolution is the end of the story or the conclusion of the story. This uh, paragraph can. Be uh, a further explanation to of the solution. In this section, uh, the writer can also describe whatever the net narrative text that is made will end with a sad ending or happy ending. The last one we got orientation. So actually, this structure is not mandatory in narrative text. So, however, generally in the sentence in this paragraph will tell uh, the last condition of the character in the story or it can also contains lesson and uh, moral message that can be taken by the reader or the, to be implemented in their uh, real life uh, next various of narrative texts First is fairy tale. So as we can see, fairy tale is a tale with the genre of fantasy or unreal stories. Fairy tales usually take the form of folk tales or children's story was sort of uh, shrouded in magic, just like uh, Cinderella or some kind of stuff like that. Next is folklore or folk tale. Almost as the same as fairy tales, uh, folklores or folklore are folk tales that pass down from generation to generation. In addition, usually this folklore is spread by word of mouth, so that will be told from generation to generation until it becomes part of the community's tradition. Next is next is history so history is also one example of narrative text as we know history is a story about events 
and what happened in the past, complete with the chronology of the place, characters, and time of the incident. Next is elements or language rules of narrative text. First, number one, we got simple past tense. So, uh, do you remember what this simple past tense is? Those are uh, tense tenses used to tell the <coughs> sorry to tell the past. Mm, the most commonly used tense in narrative text are past tense with change in the form of the first of the uh, verb to verb two. Number two, we got action verb. Action verb is uh, uh, some kind of type of verb to express an action or activity that is feasible and can be seen by others. Uh, action verb are commonly used in narrative texts to tell the chronologically what events and activities that carried out by the characters of the story. Uh, next, uh, saying and thinking verbs. In addition to using action verb, other verbs that often appear in narrative texts are uh, saying and thinking verb. So saying verb is uh, a type of verb to indicate the act of speaking. For example, uh, tell, say, and the other stuff. Uh, meanwhile, uh, thinking verb is verb that serve to inform the reader about the characters think about uh, an event of the story. An example of uh, the verb is though. Number four, we got known. So uh, in narrative text, we often find uh, nouns as pronouns for certain people animals or object in the story. For example, uh, there are narrative texts that tells about Queen Elizabeth or about King William. In the writing story, in writing the story, I mean, uh, if the main characters is always written with the mention of his real name, will be boring. So uh, this is where the noun will appear. For example, uh, Queen Elizabeth is replaced with the word the Queen. Then King Williams is replaced with the King. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope this video is can be useful for those who learn about narrative text. So my name is Christian and thank you very much.